Hello and welcome. This is Rafi. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can increase your website loading speed on WordPress using a free plugin named Can Web Booster. So I got here two websites. One is rafis.net and another one is learners.world. And I'm going to show you the current website performance starts on Google's PageSpeed Insight and also on GTmetrics to see how the performance score is now on the start. So let me copy rafis.net from here and let's go to this Google PageSpeed Insight. I'm going to paste the URL. Let's click on analyze so that it is going to analyze our website and provide us the performance report. So let's go to GT metrics while the other report is being generated and paste the URL here. I'm going to click on test your site so that it is going to give us the current stats on GT metrics as well. So if I take you back to page speed insights and let's just wait while, um, yep, here we go. The result report has been generated. And as you can see for the mobile device, we are getting like 41% percent performance stats on mobile and if i scroll a bit down you can see the website is currently taking around 25.8 seconds to perfectly being interactive on mobile devices which is quite a long time and the performance score is really poor so if i take you to desktop device you can see we got 77 percent performance and it is taking like 4.9 seconds to be interactive on a desktop device. So it is much faster on desktop comparing to the mobile device, but still 4.9 second is not a good website score. So if I take you here on the GT metrics report, you can see the performance is currently quite good here. It is showing like 88% with B grade, but I am certain like the tool I'm going to use, it is going to increase more uh, performance scores here and we're going to test it out soon so if i scroll a bit down we are going to see the website loading speed which is 5.7 seconds which is quite a long time as of this current time right so now what i'd love to do i'd love to take you back to the wordpress dashboard and i'm going to install the plugin so let me take you here on plugins feature and let's click on add new and after that i'm going to make a search here for 10 web booster and the plugin will be appear here and let's click on this install now button now it's time to activate the plugin so let's click on activate and here we go now we can set up the plugin from this page by clicking on this sign up and connect which is completely free so i'm going to click on sign up and connect which is going to take us to this sign up page and we can proceed with our google account or we can provide our email address first name last name and password so I'd love to go with the easy process. So I'd love to click here on sign up with Google. After that, I'm going to choose my Gmail account. But if you want, you can obviously provide a custom email address. You can provide your first name, last name, and other details to create your account. So on the next page, you are going to find this question. How would you best describe yourself? So I'd love to select this one, freelance developer and designer. And I'm going to manage around four to 10 websites and then let's see and here you go it just started analyzing our website and based on the website size it might going to take few minutes let's say five to seven minutes so we might have to wait for a few minutes so all right so here we got the result and as you can see the original score was 83 percent for the desktop and 4.9 second load time where we got the current score 100 percent for the desktop and 0 0.3 second load time can you imagine how far we went by using this free tool and now we got this mobile version 40 percent or 41 percent it was and 27.9 percent was the load time where it just went to 92 percent mobile score and 1.2 seconds load time i'm impressed and i'm surprised to see the results so if i take you back here on our page speed insights page and i'm going to click on reanalyze this website again and let's try this again let's retest and we're going to see the actual report on this website which we uh, earlier did so let's just go back here on google page in inside and i'm hopeful to see an improved result and just take a look we got 91 percent performance and 1.2 second time to interact um, on the mobile device can you believe this i am really like surprised here to see the performance here and by using a free tool and if i take you back to the desktop we got like 99 percent to 100 percent and if i take you back here and just take a look 0 0.3 second website loading speed i am i'm impressed here and just take a look here on uh, this gt metrics it was big grade but now we got 98 percent performance 
99% structure. And if I scroll a bit down, we are going to see 1.7 seconds. If I am not wrong, it was around six seconds to load the website where we got it down to 1.7 seconds with the same hosting. Just we used 10 web booster plugin here on our website. That's it. Now, if I just roam around here of this plugin, if I click here on this website to manage, so here I'm on the dashboard of the plugin. And if we just take a look here, we got 92% or for the mobile and 100% for the desktop. Then we're going to see like with this free plan, we'll be able to analyze and optimize six pages, including our home page plus five internal pages. Let's say the about page or most important blog post. Uh, you can analyze like five blog post pages completely free of cost here by using this platform. So to add a new page, simply you have to provide the page URL here and then click on optimize. It will start optimizing that specific page. So it is going to increase your, let's say, viewer retention. And by if you, if you just simply want, you can upgrade the plugin and you are going to get like the complete website optimization feature. And then you'll be able to add unlimited pages, unlimited image and it is going to automatically optimize the image when you are going to upload so now with the free plan we are going to be able to optimize the front end but if you want to work on the core vital stuff although we already got like this course so to make it 100 percent then we have to work on the core vital parts or on the back end and to do this we have to go here on this hosting performance we have to upgrade our account and we have to use their uh, let's say hosting so that we'll be able to optimize everything and basically they are going to optimize everything for us and we're going to get a high loading speed as you can see here 0 0.3 seconds 1.2 seconds on mobile amazing so here on this front end we got some other options as you can see the image optimizer so it is going to optimize like the all the images available on the home page and also on five other internal pages whatever image we got then they are going to optimize those images as well to speed uh, speed up the website loading speed. And after that, if you simply enable this WebP format, it is going to generate the WebP format so that it will help loading your website faster. After that, we got this settings option from where you can uh, simply select, like if you want to go with the standard um, optimization, balanced or strong or extreme. So I'd love to suggest you first try the strong one and then go for this uh, extreme one. So it might be going to break your website. So another important thing before you start using any tool like this, which are going to optimize your website, they're going to minify your JSS, they're going to minify your CSS files. So I would suggest and re highly recommend that you please take your website backup so that if anything goes wrong, then you can simply reverse that. So everything will be safe. So after that, we got like web website caching. You can enable this so that your website loading speed or whenever we'll visit the website again, it is going to load from the saved data and it's going to load faster than the first time. And after that, you can simply um, clear your cache. If you want to try other, other uh, features here, you can simply clear your cache and then you can try the other features as well. Then we got the custom rules, which is for the premium users. So this is basically it. If I want to use the plugin for learners world, I do that as well. And I'm going to do that because I'll be able to optimize 10 websites completely free of cost. And for each website, including the homepage, we'll be able to add five internal pages, which we can optimize. And obviously I have got something to do for my learners world website. And I'm going to do that. So I believe you have found this video helpful and this tool, you are going to love this. And as you can see, from like 27, 25 to 27 seconds loading time on mobile device to now we are on 1.2 seconds only. And from six seconds loading time on desktop, we are on only 0 0.3 second loading time. So this is amazing. This tool is really, really fantastic. I love this and I'm going to recommend every one of my friend circle, every clients, I'm going to recommend this tool for sure. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have found this video helpful, please give this video a like and let me know your opinion by commenting below. And if you have used this tool already, or if you just knew it from me, then please let me know by commenting as well. I hope to see you in my next videos. Have a good day. Bye-bye.